my gorgeous soul. Welcome to your November astrology. Of course, we are deep in Scorpio season. Mercury is going retrograde and we're swimming in the underworld for most of the month. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey Virgo, welcome to November. Now, yeah, Mercury, your ruler, is going retrograde, pain in the arse, that is, and it's going retrograde in your idea zone. Damn it to hell. However, it isn't necessarily bad news, because it could be that an idea or a conversation you had in the past comes back to life. Suddenly you realise that you can do something with that idea. Okay, because Mercury's retrograde, maybe think about it for the, the month and then decide to do it at the end of the month. But certainly people from the past should be contacting you. You're, you're thinking about things. You may be thinking about things and taking new directions. You know, don't make any final, final decisions. Probably till the beginning of December. But there is much food for thought. You are inspired. Uh, you might also find yourself arguing or bickering with the people around you with Mercury retrograde. Try and sort of maybe keep a journal or write down your feelings so that you're clear. You're not just being reactive. Now, Venus, the planet of love, is really helping us out. Kiki, no, with the biting of the foot. No, 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 no. She has a nervous habit. Anyway, so um, Venus, the planet of love, is helping us out and is hanging out with Jupiter until a massive conjunction at the end of the month. So there's a lot of positive energy there. And the positive energy this month is to do with your home and family. You may be redecorating, restyling. You may be kind of cozying up with someone but you're feeling that you want things to change and you want to shift things around when it comes to your home and family. But ultimately, that is good. The full moon around the 12th of November UK time is making you adventurous and expansive. You'll have an idea. What is it you want to learn? How do you want to grow? How could you want to express your unique soul? This full moon is going to give you an answer, a revelation, a dream. So tune in and make sure you listen to it. Now, Mars is shifting signs and going into your idea zone. You might also think about revamping your image or changing things around. You've got a new idea about everything, basically. Be a little bit cautious, though, because, of course, Mars here can make you argumentative. You're very forceful when it comes to expressing your ideas and your opinions, and you also might be more changeable than usual. Mars is... However, giving you the courage of your convictions to push your own agenda, which surely is a good thing. Mercury goes direct on the 21st, although it's still in shadow until early December. And then the sun uh, goes into your home and family zone. And really, you're sort of nesting and getting cosy and wanting everything to be OK around your home and family from the end, from around the 22nd. Now, Venus and Jupiter bring about this big conjunction on the 24th. There should be some great news around that time connected to your home and family. And we have a new moon on the 26th. New moon's about shaking things up, redefining ourselves, letting go of the past, having a rebirth and just rising to a, a different energetic level. And that's in your home and family zone. So hopefully expect some positive news. You may also be moving. You may be letting go of someone in your family or, or there may be some changes there mm. then venus goes into your fabulous happy place it's creative it's wild it's romantic it's sensual and you're feeling this kind of i don't know why i'm doing that <laughs> what does this mean michelle i don't know you are riding towards victory when it comes to love creativity and relationships and you're a love magnet baby yes you are it's in your fifth house so you know you're rocking some serious positivity around relationships when it comes to November, December. Lots of love, gorgeous. Let's see what your tower has to say. Virgo, Virgo. Let's see what the tower has in store for you. If you're not into tarot, click off now. Love you anyway. See you next month. Uh, if you're onto tarot, obviously it may be symbolic. Use your intuition to navigate. Virgo, 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 November, Virgo, November. Ooh. 
Don't be defensive this month. <laughs> Number one card. Let's go. Okay, Virgo. Let us see. Temperance. It's all about getting balanced. What is tying you? What is stopping you from flowing? What are you doing that's putting you out of balance, that's stopping you achieving what you want to achieve, which actually is emotional happiness and freedom? Hopefully you've already started a cycle that's a bit more joyful than the past cycle and you are ready to move forward. These are the arrows of love. That's what Ryder used to call them. You know, it's a free-flowing push forward of your energy. You're letting go to go to the next level. You may have some fear about that. Oh my God, is it safe to let go to seek what I truly want? You know, is it safe to go after my desires? I would say, yes, it is. Yeah, you might be under pressure. There may be some confusion. There may be someone who's kind of, you feel is blocking you with their unreasonable behavior, but you have the strength to come through that. And actually, you know, no matter what that person says, Something is ending in your life. There is a transformation. There is a change. There's no escaping that, the wheel of fortune. You know, don't tie yourself to something that isn't working because ultimately, you know, shake off that blindfold. You've got the magician here. It's a new start. You have all the tools in front of you. Everything in this reading is suggesting that you're ready for a new cycle, a new beginning and, you know, to let go of the things that aren't working. You might, you're trying to delay it. You might put the brakes on it. But trust me, no matter, even if you delay it, which, you know, you're a powerful being, you could delay the inevitable if you want to. Ultimately, you know, you're delaying your happiness by clinging on to things that are not working. Joy is on the horizon. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching, my lovely. Do come and visit me on Instagram, at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L. I do interactive tarot every day and astrology and if you want a free compatibility chart and your natal chart with all the details for free michellenight.com and also if you love the astrology horoscope.co.uk see you there